Wednesday. I hope you're all doing well. Today I've picked a book called Ninita's Big World, The True Story of a Deaf Pygmy Marmoset. And this is by Sarah Glenn Marsh. And this is with permission from Clarion Books. This is Ninita, a pygmy marmoset. Pygmy marmosets are the smallest monkeys in the world, but that's not all that makes Ninita special. When Ninita was born, she opened her eyes for the first time and saw beautiful trees, ferns, and flowers. She smelled sweet orange blossoms and the musk of her mother's fur. She yawned and tasted warm air on her tongue. But she couldn't hear the squawking parrots on the branches overhead. She couldn't hear the hum of mosquitoes and dragonflies. She couldn't even hear her parents' voices. Ninita was born deaf. Her parents left her when she was just three weeks old. Ninita was scared. She didn't know how to find food for herself or how to groom her fur. She saw other marmosets scurrying around the nature sanctuary, but she couldn't understand what they were trying to tell her and she didn't know how to ask for help. Ninita felt alone. But then something wonderful happened. Kind humans brought Ninita inside and she found herself in a cozy new nest of her very own. She even got a cuddly toy that kept her warm. Ninita didn't need to hear the voices of her human friends to know that she was safe. Love wasn't a sound. It was warm blankets and ropes to climb on. Every day, someone groomed her pretty fur with a toothbrush. The bristles felt just like a mother's claws. Ninita loved her toothbrush massage. Ninita also loved to eat. She saw the other marmosets happily nibbling on bugs and lizards, but she liked smooth yogurt and lumpy rice pudding. Fluffy whipped cream was her favorite. When she wasn't gobbling down tasty sweets, Curious Ninita scurried and hopped through her new surroundings. Every table was a mountain to be climbed. Every smell was an invitation to adventure. Some days, Ninita was a treasure hunter, always spotting something new and shiny with her sharp eyes. She was a brave explorer getting lost in tall grasses and peeking inside dark and spooky caves. Sometimes when she followed her nose to interesting places, Ninita wished she had a marmoset friend to share in her adventures, but she couldn't hear the other marmosets inviting her to play. As Ninita grew up, the world outside still looked huge, bursting with new things to discover. And one day it was time to trade in her old nest for a bigger, better one. But there was someone else in the new nest already, another pygmy marmoset who was almost as little as she was. Ninita wasn't sure what to think of Mr. Big at first. He moved his mouth a lot, but she couldn't understand him. Then Mr. Big sat beside Ninita in her favorite flower pot. Without ever hearing his voice, Ninita understood what he was telling her. He wanted to be her friend. Soon, Ninita realized that her new friend liked to do all the things she did, eat, climb on things, and play. And while Ninita couldn't hear his chatter or whisper secrets to him, she could climb as high as he could and jump just as fast. Ninita's world would always be silent, but that meant she noticed things that other marmosets often missed, like colorful creatures even smaller than she. Ninita still liked to swing in and check on her human friends from time to time, and she still loved her toothbrush more than anything else. But she was happiest when she was outside exploring with Mr. Big, the marmoset friend she'd always wanted. Now love is, shared, is a shared treat and napping in the same hammock. There's a big world surrounding Ninita's new nest, and she's ready to climb, see, and taste it all. As long as she can curl up with her toothbrush at the end of the day. The end. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful.
wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.